sometimes being on a bicycle helps you find those places that you wouldn't find on a car. Maybe you're just a mile from your house and you realize here's a place you've never been before. So avid cyclist Jeff Powers decided to punctuate his regular rides with a purpose, sampling and judging croissants from as many bakeries as possible. There's, you know, more than 30, you know, probably 35, just within five miles of, you know, where I live. He created routes and rode them over the course of months, ranking the croissants bracket style. I had seven groups of four, and then I had a, an eighth group, which was a wild card group, which was like the best of the second places. It was an exercise he took seriously, along with his assistant taster slash wife, Karen. So we looked at butter, saltiness, yeastiness, kind of the flake and the overall texture, and then the crumb, just kind of what it looked like on the insides. Their takeaways are in Jeff's blog which he hopes will inspire others to launch their own cycling adventures. The wonders are around us, whether they're in your backyard or in your neighborhood or across the state or across the country. Or across the ocean. Turns out Jeff isn't just good at tracking down pastries. He's a former submarine commander who explored one of history's great underwater discoveries. It seems like a long, long time ago, I was uh, on an expedition with Dr. Robert Ballard to explore the inside of the Titanic. Jeff was one of three naval officers who descended two and a half miles down to take iconic pictures, like the ones shown in the movie. As far as I am from you right now is how far away the side of the Titanic was when we got there. So it was a pretty incredible experience. But Jeff believes in the beauty of discoveries both big and small. Yeah, that's fantastic. Which leads us to his cyclocross winner. You know it's amazing when you just, you know, grab it and your fingers get buttery immediately. Moonrise Bakery on Queen Anne. This was like the most fantastic venue, this nice covered porch area, it's a quiet street. All those things go together and it just kind of made it, in our opinion, you know, just you know, really the best one around. But the truth is, no bakeries actually lost. It is definitely the grand winner for the cyclocross competition that I did, but there's more bakeries out there.